Setting up your Shark IQ robot self-empty is easy. First, set up your charging base. Use the cord wrap behind the dock to shorten the cord as needed. Make sure that the power switch is turned on. The power indicator will light up green when the base is plugged in. Find a permanent location with strong Wi-Fi signal for your base in an open area that can easily be accessed by your robot. The base should be placed on hard floors or on carpet with the shark mat below. The more room in front of your dock without any obstructions, the better. Remove any objects that are closer than 3 feet from either side of the base, or closer than 5 feet from the front of the base. Prolonged direct sunlight can interfere with your IQ robot's navigation when docking, so avoid placing the base under or around bright windows. Next, remove any protective plastic from your robot sensors. Then turn it over and install the two side brushes. To charge the robot, turn the power switch located on the side of the robot to the on position. Then slide the robot with its backside against the base. Charging can take up to six hours. When charging begins, the robot will beep and the dock light will turn from green to blue. When charging is complete, the battery icon on the robot will illuminate solid blue. Next, prepare your home for cleaning. Clear cords and remove small objects like toys, socks, and drapes from floors. Open interior doors and rooms you want your robot to clean. If there are areas you'd like the robot to avoid, use bot boundary strips to keep your robot out of them. For example, block off power cords or high thresholds. Before your first cleaning, be sure to set up the Shark Clean app to control your robot, capture your home map, and schedule a whole home cleaning. The remainder of this how-to assumes that your app has already been set up. Once the robot is charged, press Clean to send it to action. As it cleans, your robot will automatically create a map of your home, allowing you to separate it into specific rooms like the living room, bedroom, or kitchen. After a few cleaning sessions, this map will allow you to select specific rooms to clean, or you can even set cleaning schedules for the whole house. Your robot will take multiple runs to build and refine your home layout. Do not lift the robot while it's cleaning, because that could interfere with its ability to create a map and clean your home effectively. If the robot gets stuck during cleaning, free the robot manually and place it within one foot of its last cleaning spot. For homes larger than 1,800 square feet, we recommend activating the Recharge and Resume feature in the app. Your robot returns to the base, recharges, and can pick up where it left off. For best results, run your robot in well-lit conditions. If you run your robot at night, make sure to keep the lights on in the rooms to be cleaned. For additional assistance, see the Help section of your app, visit our support page, or call our customer service at this number.